For some apps it is useful to add the functionality that users can pick images and then they also can crop them. We will also look at how we can rotate images, how we can scale images and how we can set different aspect ratios for our image. If you are new here subscribe to my channel and make sure to watch this video till the end. Let's get started by creating a method pick media where we actually want to pick the media and also crop it. First of all we put here this boolean is gallery flag inside and this is here in our app basically the switch button so we can switch between gallery and camera and if we click then on this button later then we will choose then from the gallery or directly from the camera the image. And after it, we also want to add here a functionality inside for cropping our image and this is what we later manage outside of this method. And here basically we get a file from our file system which we have picked from our library and then we simply crop it here with this method and return later. Let's get started by calling here our image picker and therefore you need to go to your pubspec.jml file and put here the image picker dependency inside and also you can put here the image cropper dependency already inside with which we later crop our images. So put it simply under your dependencies inside. On this image picker we call the get image method and here inside you need to set a source which we want to create right now and basically if we have here our toggle button at is gallery like this then we want to return here this image source gallery otherwise we return here the image source camera and then we simply put here the source within our get image method inside. And what this is doing this method till now is if we later click here on this button for example then it opens up here the gallery or it opens up the camera and then we can choose here an image. And this image we get here later back as a file pass and it is of a type of picked file which we want to convert to a file object. But first of all let's check here if the picked file is null and if that's the case then we return here also null. And this null case can happen if the user goes here to this view of the gallery for example and then he navigates back to our normal view and he didn't pick an image or something. Then we want to check here if we have supplied here a crop image method and if we don't have this supplied then we want to return here simply the file which we have picked from our image picker. So we simply convert this picked file to a normal file object like here and put here simply the picked file path inside. Otherwise if we have here this crop image supplied within our method then we want to also crop our image after we have picked our image. And therefore I simply create here first of all a new file. So it's exactly the same thing what we do also in this case here. And then we simply call here this crop image method which comes from the outside of this method and here we put the file inside of the image we have picked from the library. And that's all about this method and now we want to add the crop image functionality. Here I have created a new page, square page and here inside we basically have this floating action button and if we later then click on this floating action button then this method is executed here. Here inside we want to call then our method which we have created before our pick media method and here inside we set first of all the is gallery field which we get here from the outside world and this is basically the boolean flag for this switch here at the top. After it we want to add our crop image method which we want to create right now. And in this screen here we want to actually crop a square image. Now let's create this method crop square image and here we basically get the file which we have picked from the library or which we got from the camera. And here inside we want to call then the image cropper to crop our image. And again I tell you here that we make use of this image cropper plugin. Now here back in this method we call on this image cropper the crop image method and here we need to set first of all the file which we want to crop. So we set simply the image file which we have picked from the library and after it we need to set here the aspect ratio 
and we set it here for the x coordinate and for the y coordinate to 1. And this means that the x coordinate and y coordinate have the same size, and this means our image has a square format. And we also need to set here the aspect ratio presets and here inside we set basically the square preset inside. And this is everything what we need for cropping the image. And now we want to actually execute the whole functionality and add an image to our UI. Therefore we want to add here a grid view of images and every time if you pick a new image then it should be here displayed within our UI. To store our images, we call here a new field where we basically store all of our images inside. And then we simply go to our on click button. So if we click on this button, then we also want to check if the file which we have picked already is null. And if it's null, then we don't want to continue here in this method. And after it, we want to call here this imagesfiles.add. And here we want to add the image which we have picked and also cropped. So we basically put here this file inside of this method. And now we go here to our build method to the body property and want to show all the images which we have selected from the gallery. And therefore I create here an image list view which I have already created. And here inside we want to basically set then all the files of our images. And I will also show you quickly the source code of this image list widget. And basically we have here a grid view where we simply display some images inside and we also crop them a bit so that they are rounded. And here I simply put then this image.file inside where we simply put the file of our image inside. And by the way, if you want to get this whole source code, you can get it with the first link in the description. And with the second link, you get my Flutter courses where I teach you how you can become a more efficient developer. Now we want to try here this out and pick our image and also crop it. However, before we need to do some configuration because this image cropper needs for Android some configuration, which we want to do right now. Therefore, I simply go here to this plugin and copy this activity. And then we go back to our project into the Android folder, app, source, main. And here inside we have the Android manifest file. And then you search here for this activity. And under this activity, we want to add our second activity. And then you also need to make sure that you restart your application. And now we can try it out. So we click here on this action button, we pick an image. And then we have here our crop image view and you basically can change here the view. You can also scale it by default and you can also have here a rotation if you like. And then you can basically select it. And now our image doesn't appear here because I have forgot to also set here the set state around our images files at in our on clicked button method. And then you should see that this image is also added to our view. Now we want to look at the crop image in detail because you have here many other properties which you can set. The first parameters we want to add here are the compressed quality. And here you can put a value between 0 and 100 inside and then it will automatically compress this image so that the size of this image is less. And you also can set here the compress format and I set it here to JPEG. And now every time if you pick an image and crop it, then it is automatically compressed. Another option we have here is this Android UI settings. And with this one, you can basically then change the UI of this year. And therefore we create here a new method. And inside of this method, we create our Android UI settings object. And here you can set some things. First of all, you can set the toolbar title, which will be later displayed here at the top. And what you also can do is to set here the toolbar color. So we can change here the color of our app bar at the top. And this looks then like this. However, we also want to add here white color for our buttons. And therefore you have here this toolbar widget color. And then you can set it to white. And now our widgets are here in the white color. 
Another thing what we can set here are the height bottom controls to true. And with this we have here only the crop view and we don't have here these additional things like scaling and also the rotation. So if you like you can then set it and then you have here the simple view where they simply select here the image. Before we can pick images on iOS we also need to configure a bit. So for the image picker we need to add here three lines in our info plist file. And that's what we want to do right now. So we simply go to iOS into the runner directory and here we have the file info plist. And here inside you set these three keys with these values. And this is needed otherwise the plugin and the image picker is not working. And then you need to restart your application. And then you can click here and choose an image. And like you can see we also have here this picker. You can change it. And if you are done then you simply click on done. And then we have here our image in our view. If you like to add also a rotation then you also can set these both fields to false and then the rotation is enabled. And now if we pick here again an image you see we have here this rotation also supported. Now I have created here a new page, a custom page and I have copied and pasted all the code inside what we had before. This time we want to change this image cropper a bit so we put here an aspect ratio inside with 16 by 9. And now if we pick an image then you see we have here this format 16 by 9 and here this is basically what you can then change here and put here your format inside what you like. However like you can see we cannot change this ratio anymore and if you don't like this you can also change it. So with an Android settings you have here this log aspect ratio and you can set it to false. And then we can also add here the iOS settings and here inside we basically can also set the aspect ratio log to false. And now by default we have here every time 16 by 9 as an aspect ratio. However you can then also change it to a different aspect ratio if you like. And lastly we want also to set here crop mode. So you can choose then the aspect ratio of your image. Therefore I have created here a new page, predefined page and I basically copied and pasted everything inside like before. However this time we go to the crop image and here inside we want to set the aspect ratio presets. And this is then basically the image ratio of the original image which this image has by default. And then you also can set here other ratios. So for example a square ratio which is one by one or also other ratios. And now if you are in the crop mode you see we have here these different modes like what we have defined here. So this is original so we have here the full view and then we also can change it here to a square view and the other formats which we have supplied here. And basically you have here also other values so you can also choose here 16 by 9, 7 by 5 and so on. And lastly I also want to show you that you can change here the source so we can also pick here our images from the camera directly. And this is what we have implemented in the beginning. So here we basically set then this to image source.camera and now if we press on this button then he will simply open up the camera and we can take an image and after we have taken this image then you can also crop it again. Hello everyone, thank you so much for watching this video. Please make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel here to get the latest news about Flutter and see you soon. Bye!